Um, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, so I'm used to humidity and the heat. So um, I, I kind of have a problem with this, but it is what it is. <laughs> Where's this team's mindset right now after a tough game on Thursday against? Definitely. So um, if you walk around our facilities, you'll see us saying, "Fight them to hell, freezes over," and then fight them on the ice. Simple. We'll keep fighting. How big of a challenge is Oklahoma coming in here? Coming? Oklahoma is a great team. Uh, we all know who they are, and so. Um, it's just that we just have to uh, play our style of football, you know, going against a great defense. Does it make any difference to you and the offense that they've got a new coordinator coming into this game? Oh, we just have to play our style of football. It doesn't matter if an NFL team is in front of us or a high school team is in front of us. We'll just play our style of football. What stands out? I mean, they gave up the most points ever to Texas in the Red River. But you think the defense is a little better than what they've shown? Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, I'm not really worried about, you know, that game. That's dumb. I play football for TCU, so the only thing I can focus on is TCU. How impressed were you with Sean playing through that shoulder injury last oh, week? Yeah. Does he tough, show something there? Tough kid. Tough kid. He's a competitor. Like I said, um, he's going to fight. What's the biggest areas of improvement you, you think – offensively needs to happen going into this game. Yeah, definitely. So we want to get better each and every day. Every time we put on those pads in practice, we want to get better, just in general. Even if we're, you know, undefeated, we want to get better. We're never settling for anything. We want to keep striving to be better. What do you all need to do better, specifically? Um, it starts with practice. We just, you know, like I said, we're going to try to go in and practice harder and just get better, keep fighting. But what areas? I mean, what areas of this offense? I mean, hey, we're one offense, so the offense needs to get better. Cordell, midway through the season, how would you assess the <laughs> offensive line play today? Like I said, we're not settling for anything. We want to keep getting better. It, how, how big of a loss has Cordell been here the last few games? Oh, Cordell is a leader on the offensive line, so not having him out there is definitely a challenge, but our guys have done a great job of stepping up, you know, when their name has been called. You know, will have played Oklahoma quite a bit in the last 12 games, three times after this next one. Mm -hmm. What what sort of characterizes a TCU-Oklahoma matchup each time? Oh, it's going to be a physical dog fight, you know, especially in the trenches. And so, um, you know, the teams have been battling for, you know, many years, way before I've gotten here. And so, like I said, it'll be a physical dog fight. Is there anything you, that you see out of Oklahoma's defensive line, their quickness, their size that – Maybe it's a little bit different from any other teams you've seen this year. A great defense is a great defense. Kellen, has it been frustrating at all that you guys haven't been able to get the running lanes for Darius here the last two, three games? Yeah. Considering what he did against Ohio State. Yeah, so like I said, we want to keep getting better. We can't you know, necessarily think of it as a frustrating moment because when you start getting frustrated, that's when you lose your composure. So we want to keep our composure and just keep getting better. Speaking of frustration, as an offense, and I know you guys are together, but you know when you have more turnovers than the other team, when you're walking off the field after another drive has ended on a turnover, what's that like for you guys? Those guys are wearing the same jersey as me, so I'm with them 100%. Now, when you talk about it, nobody wants to commit turnovers. We all know that. Definitely. But it, can you concentrate on not committing turnovers too much? In other words, do you, do you focus on it or do you ignore it as an offense? We just got to work harder at practice. Colin, I'm sure you watched the Big 12 this last weekend. It seems as wide open. Do you feel like the goals are still in front of y'all, just given the unpredictable nature of this conference? Definitely. We control our own destiny, and it starts with practice. It starts with getting better each and every day. But realistically, to control that own destiny, do you have to beat Oklahoma this week? We have to beat whoever's in front of us. Oklahoma just happened to beat a team this week. But first, we have to perform at practice. As, you're, as an offensive player and, and you're watching your defense, what, what are your thoughts on the way your defense is performing right now? Defense has been playing great. They have our back. So now it's time for us to have their back. Is that something y'all talked about as an offense that, hey, defense is playing real strong. We, we've got to back them up? We have the same. We all we got, we all we need. So with that, it runs a long way. Have you been looking at any of Griffin McNeil's defenses from whether it's East Carolina or Texas Tech this week in terms of preparation? I play football for TCU, so we just need to focus on us. No, no, but I mean, when you're preparing for it, are you just looking at Oklahoma film? We haven't even made it to practice yet. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> 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 I haven't made it to practice yet. Cal, Cal Mark was saying uh, you're, you like giving back to the community. and that's something you, How important is that, you know, being a college football player to, to give back and, and do those sorts of Definitely. things? Definitely. So this platform I have, you know, a lot of kids look up to me. 
even though I don't score touchdowns, a lot of kids look up to me, and so that's a blessing. And so, um, you know, I was always that guy that, you know, I watched the football screen, I was like, dang, I really want to meet him, you know? And so if a kid feels that way about me, I feel like I have to give it back to him. You know, I came from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I really don't need to explain the dynamic of it. I grew up with kids that have been killed. I grew up with kids that's in jail right now for murder. Same kids that I, you know, play football with, and they not living the same dream I'm dreaming, or that I'm living, even though we dreamed it together. And so um, I just want to make sure I'm that positive role model. So you feel like uh, just given your roots, you can kind of relate to some kids and try and get them on the right path? Definitely. Did, did you have a role model like that in Baton Rouge? Oh, yeah. So um, my grandfather, my uncle, my uncle actually runs Louisiana U football. So constantly having him in my, you know, in my ear and different guys I just looked up to, you know, when we talk about LSU because, uh, you know, that's where I was. What's the main message Coach Patterson tries to get across to you guys as uh, we just want to give our seniors the best uh, year possible. That's always our saying from day one to day, whatever the last day is.